Yo, what's up, film enthusiasts, and welcome back to another review. The new Haunted Mansion movie is coming up in the next few weeks for me. So, what best is just to review the 2003 old classic movie. So, you know the drill? Here's my honest and spoiler free review. So in this movie, we follow a realtor, his wife and children are summoned to a mansion which they soon discover to be haunted and while they attempt to escape, he learns an important lesson about the family he neglected. Haunted Mansion from 2003 man, I didn't see it when it first got released but when I was a bit older like 8 years old or something, this movie for me was one of the greatest horror movies of all time. And keep in mind, this was my first kind of horror movie because it's it's not really horror. It's like family friendly horror. It's really like goosebumps or something like that. So it's not like really horror. And now when I became older and rewatched this movie again, I'm just still in love with this movie. So what are the goods about this movie? Okay, so let's just start off with the acting in this movie. Eddie Murphy as the main lead is just perfect and so incredible. Uh, his most of the humor I laughed at was from him. Then we have Terrence Stamp, and he also is just incredible in his performance as the butler of this mansion. All around, most of the actors in this movie is just amazing and incredible. And you know what? I'll say this. I don't think the CGI effect is that half bad. Even for its time, it's still honestly better than The Flash. Not all joking aside, this movie for me is just amazing. From the acting to the scares. I didn't get scared, but I mean, as Lil Me, I would be terrified of this. It's still just so amazing even when I'm older now and re-watching this movie. It is hands down my favorite family-friendly mild horror movie. I know that we have Goosebumps, but for me, Goosebumps, I mean, it's really good. It's really, really good. But this movie, for me, just amazing. And we will see if this new reboot that is coming out in the next few weeks for me will amaze me even more or just the same as this movie did when I was a child and now. I really have memories just loving this movie. I never usually talked about this movie. But I still loved it. Now bringing us to this story, I I'm just really interesting in interested in this story. How the background of the ghost, this mansion, how this it's haunted. It is just so interesting to me with the touch of uh, kind of 1800s kind of style, and uh, that is what I just really love about this movie. And now I know that it's a pretty short list of positives, but that's all. I can say about this movie, so you, so you probably think that I will just rant about what is the negatives, even though I said it's an amazing movie, it's all around. I can tell you now, I don't really have any negatives about this movie. For me, it's just kind, uh, just an amazing family-friendly mild horror movie. I, it doesn't feel perfect, but it's just such a, an amazing movie, but I can also see why people don't like this movie. But for me personally, I still absolutely love this movie when I was younger and now in 2023. And even with me now that can actually see something like the cinematography, how bad and good actors are, and that kind of dissect the movie a, a bit. And now being a movie lover, this is just amazing. So for this movie, I'm giving cinematography two points. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, just some normal stuff, honestly. And now for acting and dialogue, I'm giving it three points. Eddie Murphy as the main lead and the Terrence Stamp as the main villain is just amazing and incredible. Even though I'm laughed many times, mostly Eddie Murphy's character, so much of the joke do doesn't land with me as good as it did seven years ago. Now for storytelling, I'm giving it three points. I really invested in the story and the backstory of the mansion and the ghost that haunts it. 
house and of course their backstory and the 1800s kind of style now they don't like it this deserve one more point and hell yeah this is almost perfect for me and i just honestly hope that the new reboot is just as good or better than this movie because that will just make my heart happy so if i just add those up that will be eight points with one bonus point that will be nine points so with that i'll be ranking this movie and nine out of ten or a four and a half out of five stars if you're carrying letterbox rotten tomatoes or any other ranking places with stars but now if i were to give it a critically rating i actually I have to go with a 6 out of 10 or a critical rating of a C plus. I can really see how this movie doesn't affect everyone, but I still just really, really loved it with all my heart. This is just one of the perfect family friendly horror movies, like I said. I will definitely recommend this movie, even if you haven't watched it before or haven't watched it in ages. I think you will still love it if you have seen it before and I think you will love it if you like you're a newcomer to seeing this movie but uh, that's just my quick little review on this movie what did you think about it what do you like what do you dislike are you someone that like me that is going to re rewatch a movie or check out this movie or, or have you already checked out the reboot and what did you think about it that comment down below but don't forget to like and subscribe. That will mean a lot to me. It's free and it takes one second. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out.